Hey, hey friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's grocery haul. However, this one is a little bit different. I'm going to try to go back to two week grocery hauls with a fill in haul in between. Um, just for like produce, milk, bread, stuff like that, that you usually or typically run out of when you do a two week haul. Um, it's just easier for me to do it this way. Sorry, hair was in my eye or something, but anyways. It's easier for me to do it this way because I can do it with paydays. So that's what I'm gonna go back to doing. Let me try to finish this real quick before my dogs go back to barking. But anyways, typically that's how it works. It works with my paychecks, so that's what we're gonna go back to doing. But anyways, we're gonna go on to Walmart and get my grocery pickup order. I will have a meal plan. I don't know if I'm just gonna write it down and share it with you on here at the end of the video, quit. But anyways, I will bring you back and you will see it either way. So, without further ado, let's go shopping. <laughs> Alright, so I am back from Walmart and back from unloading all of these groceries. So, I'm going to get them set up because right now, this is the state that we're in. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up and ready to go. And then, as soon as I do, I will bring you back. Okay, so I am back home. I have everything set up on the table and I kind of forgot, you know, just how big $300 for a two week haul is. But um, anyways, I'm gonna flip you around <laughs> and show you everything that we got. And like I said, my meal plan will be either before this or after. So just stay tuned. Here we go with the haul, y'all. So we are going to start back here like we normally do. I got three gallons of whole milk. I got a container of almond milk, the vanilla flavored. I got some heavy whipping cream, a French vanilla creamer, and a Twinkies creamer. Love this stuff. This stuff's really good. And then I got two sour creams and three of the strawberry mist. And then they had to substitute um, one of the cherry cheesecakes. I ordered four. I got two crescent rolls. These were substitutes because they didn't have the Walmart brand, so I'll take it. <laughs> then I got two cream cheeses. I got a pound of beef bologna to have for sandwiches or fried bologna or anything like that to have with breakfast or eggs or anything. And then I got some sliced American cheese. Got some sliced provolone. Mozzarella for homemade pizzas one night. Colby Jack. And, of course, sharp cheddar. i got all kinds of cheeses. Cheese, 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 and more cheese. <laughs> oh, and we can't forget the Parmesan cheese. That's going to be for homemade Alfredo. So, I had to get that and the cream cheese and the heavy whipping cream. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got some salted butter. I got a loaf of white bread. Um, I'll just... Go ahead and finish up with this. Then we got some hamburger buns because I'm going to be making Tamara's French onion burgers. So I picked up some of those. And we're going to make the Pioneer Woman Sloppy Joe's. So that's also on the menu as well. Pizza night one night, like I was saying. And then we'll just go ahead and do the snacks. <laughs> I got a bag of the Variety Pack. There's 16 single bags of chips. There's Original Barbecue, Sour Cream and Onion, and salt and vinegar and then these were on Tamara's last haul <laughs> so I went ahead and got some of those but those are the mini honey buns you get 16 of them for $3.50 which is a lot cheaper than buying them in the box but I did get my husband some Swiss rolls and of course y'all know these are my absolute favorite I think they taste better than any other Reese cup ever made <laughs> I love the shapes more than I do just normal Reese cups because they put more peanut butter in them. But those are my favorites. I don't know if I said the pizza crust. Can't remember. If I did, I just said it again. But those are really good because the crusts are actually seasoned. So, and it's not a bad price for two thin crusts. So, 
That's what we use for pizza night here. And now let's go back to up here. I was finally able to find some french fries. So I went ahead and got two bags. I got a thing of pepperoni for a pizza night. Also got two of the grass grass-fed ground beef. This was also a substitute. I didn't order that, but I guess they were out of the sirloin, so they um, switched it. Um, so I got two of those, and I believe those are 85.15s. Then I got a package of chicken breasts, which I'll split for two meals. One's going to be million-dollar chicken. One's going to be for chicken Alfredo. Then I got a 93.7. Those will probably be used to make the French onion burgers. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that's more than likely what it's going to be. Or the Sloppy Joes. This is just to have on hand for spaghetti or the Sloppy Joes. I haven't decided. We see how many burgers this makes. <laughs> my kids, my boys can tear up some burgers. So I have to buy the two and a quarter pound one when I do a burger night. So we'll see about that then for oh and also got me another thing of garlic breadsticks those are by far my absolute favorite breakfast stuff this week i have frosted flakes i'm sorry if you hear mason and pepper hang on a second let me go see what they're barking at okay like i said we got frosted flakes and we got the shredded wheat i got two things of spaghetti one for my everyday pantry and then of course one to put back for prepper pantry um we got some breakfast blend coffee, and then my son wanted a very dark roast, so I found this Sumatra there. We'll try that and see if he likes it. I don't like dark, dark coffee. He does. He drinks it black. Ugh, I can't do it. I like a medium or, you know, something like that. Just, just you know, I'm, I guess I'm weird. I don't know. How many other people like just like a medium coffee, and how many people like a dark roast? Let me know. Put it in the comments. <laughs> and then I got um, some orange blast to add to waters and also raspberry lemonade. I got four of the thin crust pizza mix. Those are going to go straight into prepper pantry. So, yeah, one, two, three, four of those. And then I got a box of rotini for Alfredo. They were out of my other pasta that I wanted to put back in there, like my ditalini and everything. They didn't have it, so hopefully on my fill-in haul, I'll get more stuff to put back in my prepper pantry. And then I got two cans of my favorite green beans to put back in there, because I've used two. And then I saw these, and we're going to give them a try for one night. Um, but seasoned butter beans. Love me some butter beans. I got two more cans of black beans to put back in the prepper pantry. And then I got some Ida salt. Two things of pizza sauce that goes straight into the pantry as well. I got the French onion soup mix because that's what Tam uses in hers. And that's what I needed because I really want to try these burgers. They looked amazing. I got a thing of Duke's mayonnaise to put back in my pantry because I just opened one. Um, another pack of sugar to put back in there as well. And I do keep these sealed up, so that way I don't have to worry about it. But I got two things of syrup. One for everyday pantry, one put back for prepper pantry. I got some ketchup and mustard and Worcestershire sauce <laughs> to all go in the pantry as well, as well as the packets of the ranch mix. I'm going to go ahead and put those straight back in there. I got another thing of tea bags because I just pulled one from my um, prepper. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there. And then I made a recipe the other day for the cookbook collab. And I didn't have my little individually wrapped Velveeta packs. So I wanted to go ahead and get some so I'd have it on hand. Which is also shelf stable. Um, and I don't think it expires until August. Well, it's August of this year. But anyways, I'll be using that one fairly soon. And let's see, let's go back to produce now since everything's kind of all over the place. I got two yellow onions, I got a red onion, four Roma tomatoes, two packs of the baby Bellas. I'm going to be making stuffed mushrooms and I guess something open that one, but we'll be using that one soon. I went ahead and got me two two pound bags of pintos. Um, I'll be making pintos again soon, so, and I wanted to have one on hand. 
Then I got some romaine lettuce for salads or lunches or dinners, however you want to do it. And then I picked up some of my favorite lightly dried parsley. I got a bag of broccoli florets. That's going to be for the chicken and broccoli alfredo. I got two lemons, some mini cucumbers. I hope these don't go bad fast. I've been noticing here lately they've been going, you know, yucky kind of quick. <laughs> so hopefully these don't. I got a head of just the regular iceberg lettuce. I got a bunch of bananas. And then I picked up some more cilantro for my son's lunches. Like I said before, he does the cilantro lime rice. Hopefully he has enough lime juice. If not, he'll have to buy it. The bell pepper is for the Pioneer Woman Sloppy Joes. Two regular sliced tomatoes. And then I got this super blend to put with my salads or even just to cook them as a side one night for dinner. <clears throat> I got two things of the grape tomatoes for my salads. I got four baking potatoes to have with dinner one night or for a lunch or something. I got a thing of green onions. Whew, I'm about out of breath. All right, I think I've got everything here. So now let's go to, oh, and a five pound bag of russet potatoes. <laughs> and now we'll go to the non-food. I got the great value version of the gain, which it's the lavender scent and it smells fantastic. I got the lavender scented bleach. I needed some more floor cleaner. I love this stuff. You mix this with just a little bit of that bleach and it smells so good. I don't know what it is about it, but it just smells really good. Then I had to get the puppers some more T-R-E-T-S's, T-R-E-A-T-S's, sorry if I can spell right. <laughs> if I say the word, they will get excited and then they'll want one. But yes, I had to get those for them. And then I needed some, um, well, me and my husband both needed some more contact drops. Um, so I got us each a box of those. And then I got a small pack of paper plates and then I got like the dinner size. Um, just to have on hand as well for an easy cleanup one night. And then let's mosey on over here. I only carried one in here because the other two um, are in the kitchen still. And Pepper's going to come check it out. Hi, baby. And there's Mason. They got to stay high. But I got a three packs of the water. Then I got a case of Dr. Pepper Zero and a case of the Cherry Coca Cola um, Zero Sugar. And. I'm thinking that's it. That's enough, right? The total for this haul was 300, was it 301 or 302 dollars? So I averaged about 150 dollars a week. Now, granted, that's still with the non-food in there, so it's not stuff we're gonna eat. So if you were to take that out, probably about 30 dollars. 30 to 40 bucks that needs to be taken out because of the non-food stuff is not really can, you know, we can't eat that, <laughs> but we need it. So it goes on our grocery bill. But, um, so I did stay under budget for two weeks and I still have a little bit more to go back and get milk or bread or anything else that I might need. Or if I want something different during the weeks, I can go back and get that. But like I said, that fill in haul will be in between the big haul. So you'll see this on this coming up Tuesday and then I'll have a fill in haul and then the next haul won't be until the the next big haul I should say. Won't be till the following following week. I'm probably making no sense but that's okay. <laughs> I confuse myself sometimes. But anyways I hope you all have enjoyed this grocery haul. Leave me some dinner ideas um, in my comments below or some of your favorite meals. And whew, my arm's getting tired, so let me switch. But just let me know some of the favorite things that you all have um, or your family favorites. But until next time, I wish you all the best. God bless. Bye.